technical support is professor jidan jacob of computer science and engineering department i welcome you also to this session the persons behind this program is the entire faculties of mechanical engineering department especially i have to mention some names that is uh, professor shridaj mr uh, akhil jay babu and mr sharad das i am whole heartedly welcoming you all to this program uh, once again i am welcome all of you to this program thank you all i am handing over the mic to ms akhila thank you sir next i would like to introduce our general secretary and director amrita ma'am but due to connectivity issues she has instead recorded her special address let's have a look hi all respected speaker and resource person of the day professor anish dear uk family members and all those who are attending today's webinar a hearty welcome to all of you from uk family UKF College of Engineering and Technology Paripalli Kollam is a new generation engineering college and we have started our journey to implement engineering education 4.0 inside our campus and hence challenging the status quo of engineering education in the country we believe engineering is to be taught and to be learned by doing and not just in sitting inside the classrooms and programs like this are stepping stones to our journey towards engineering education 4.0 well research is something that awakens everyone's interest i have seen lot of passionate researchers who have spending lots of their time uh, even without sleep or without food uh, spending lot of their time doing research in their laboratories or in their respective fields but in spite of their passion towards research something that comes to their hindrance or something that makes it little boring or little tiresome is uh, getting their thesis ready in their prescribed format definitely documentation is part of research and documentation is already done but then making it into a prescribed format and spending lot and lot of your valuable time in front of the screen uh, doing and redoing the same stuff again and again definitely will make uh, you a bit tiresome and a bit boring also so what if you have a solution to bring down uh, the time that you spend in front of the system to uh, format your thesis or your documentation of your research in a prescribed format something that takes care on its own i should say latex is a wonderful software actually that has been there since 1985 but has gained popularity among almost all the researchers around the world because of the convenience that it provides uh, to them during the documentation time and i should say learning latex is a skill that all researchers irrespective of their level whether you are a graduate research level or uh, whether if you are in a post graduate or a post doctoral research level should acquire if you are doing research and if you are documenting it and i am wholeheartedly congratulating our department of mechanical engineering uh, headed by our dear state chodi dr madhusudan pillai uh, and his uh, team of young and vibrant faculties who have actually taught Uh, about this particular topic and has uh, taken the initiative to arrange such a webinar that will be useful for lot of researchers around us uh, big congratulations to you sir and to your team and as we all know we are into a lockdown from today and this is the best time that you can make use for your research uh, i should say many of us if not all of us are getting lot of time in our home than usual and this is the best thing on how you can convert this difficult time of yours into a fruitful time uh, that will be there with you forever so make use of this particular time make use of the knowledge that you get through this webinar this is an introduction uh, webinar and if you have uh, more re requirements you can contact definitely our organizers we shall uh, ready, be ready to help you all so wishing all the best for the Uh, participants and uh, happy learning to all of you uh, hope this program will be a grand success and uh, all the best to the speaker also thank you thanks a lot i would also like to welcome our executive director gb sir um thank you for attending this webinar and now before and now before i welcome mr anis kundukulathil i'd like to give a short intro 
about him. Mr. Anis is a lecturer in mechanical and industrial section, Department of Engineering at the University of Technology and Applied Science, Muscat, for the last eight years. And he, was, he has teaching experience for more than 20 years. He has completed his master's in mechanical engineering with design specialization from Glasgow Caledonian University, Scotland, UK. And he has conducted several workshops on latex in various organizations. Mr. Anis also served as a senior design engineer for water treatment plants projects in India. Sir, I would like to welcome you. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you for your brief introduction and thank you very much, uh, especially Dr. Madhusudhanim Pillai, just uh, for welcoming me to this particular webinar. And also, I would like to thank to have an interaction with you, this young dynamic engineers of your prestigious institute, UKF College of Engineering and Technology. Of course, I consider this as an honor. Hello, everyone. Okay, I welcome you to today's webinar on introduction to LATEC. As the moderator mentioned, I'm Anise, I'm from the Musket. Okay, well, once again, I would like to welcome once again to everyone to the webinar. Hope I'm audible to everyone. And here we start our presentation. Uh, sure. Hope everyone is seeing my screen now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Today, we've been trying to discuss a few fundamental information regarding LATEC. And mainly, the contents can be categorized as follows. The first is introduction. Of course, that is a history and evolution of LATEC. Then, uh, Various flavors of LATEC will be discussed in this. Then we'll be moving to the LATEC file structure. How well and beautifully the files in LATEC are being arranged. And of course, it's set structure. Then this is actually, then of course, the time for writing our first LATEC document with least number of commands. Then we'll be moving on to more, we are adding more features to the document by introducing few more commands. Finally, we will conclude our session with QA session. The first one is the TAC is essentially a markup language like HTML, XML, and RTF. As I'm aware of, most of you are familiar with basic HTML. And I think you may came across basic HTML in your secondary school curriculum. Let's see what is a markup language. Markup language is nothing but as per the definition given by Wikipedia, 
In computer text processing, a markup language is a system for annotating a document in a way that is syntactically distinguishable from the text. Meaning, when the document is processed for display, the markup language is not shown and is only used to format the text. Okay, next is check written by Donald Nope. Donald Aving Nope. Actually, he born in January 10th, 1938. He is an American computer scientist, mathematician, and professor emeritus at Stanford University. Actually, Okay, now here it is written the, the tech, when tech came, it made a revolution in the typesetting. So actually what is, what do you mean by the typesetting? It is nothing but the process of producing graphic matter into a form to be used in printing. Okay. Next, let's see, LaTeX is an extension of tech and from Leslie Lamport in the early 1980s. Macro packages to make tech easier to use. So here, Leslie B. Lamport, born February 7, 1941, is a is an is an American computer scientist. Graduated from Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and as initial developer of the document preparation system LaTeX, and the author of its first map. Now, here normally the LaTeX is pronounced as lactic, even though the spelling is similar to the lactex, the pronunciation of the, the this type setting software lactic is lactic. And also you can see that here when I wrote the tech and the lactic, it is types it beautifully in a different manner. The L, A is actually not just after L, of course it is above L, then T comes, E is just shown as a suffix here and X is in this some other manner. So a different type thing you can see here. So Latticus types it very beautifully as shown here. Now, there are large family of tools which are now derived from tech, such as LaTeX is there, PDF tech is there, C LaTeX is there, Lua tech is there, Count text is there, and so on. We have a lot of derived flavors we can see. The original tech program outputs the typeset document into a custom format called DVI. Okay, here, next, let's see. The original tech, tech is a macro and a token based markup language. So what is actually normally we stuck with the terms macro and the token based. Macro and token are more or less some technical terms normally used by computer people. And we are not much concerned about these terms. 
However, we spoke about the markup language in detail. So let's move on to the next. LaTeX is a set of commands defined in terms of underlying tech commands with standardized packages. Now, in the LaTeX, you can see the original tech program. I have already told you that the output is in a DVI, DVI format in the case of a LaTeX. Next, we can see PDF tech. PDF tech actually created by Han Tathana. He created the PDF tech for his PhD thesis in 1990s. And it is a modification of tech, which allows it to output to PDF directly. So normally, what we people do is we are taking the print out, normally in the PDF formats. So our document first, we normally we convert into PDF, then we are taking the print out of that. So in the most of the cases, we are using PDF tech. Next. Next is C LaTeX. C LaTeX is in 2004, Jonathan Q created C tech. And another modification of the underlying tech engine to include support for modern phone formats. So C LaTeX, nowadays you can see many of the publishers are using C LaTeX widely. Now, C LaTeX is another modification of, okay, of course, I told you it is a modification of the tech engine. This time to support a wider range of characters beyond just plain English numbers and letters, and to include support of four modern font formats. This makes writing in foreign languages much easier. And also lets you use the fonts within LaTeX which were traditionally only available to, to, available to your word processors. Next is Lua Tech, Lua, which is a simple and stable language, ideal for writing complicated macros. As of 2012, it's still in active development and its API is liable to change, but is it's still very usable. Next, we are coming to the context. Context aims to provide an easy interface for advanced typography features. It is another system which is created by, of course, by Hans Hagen in 1990. So these are the some flavors of tech. Okay, normally a question arises. Why do you, why do you want to learn LaTeX? Okay, we can try to find why we prefer LaTeX, even though we have a very user-friendly micro, Microsoft Word, than open office documents. Such word processes are there, but still, why, especially a scientific community going behind a LaTeX? The first one is very powerful control of document generation, particularly large technical documents, especially for large complicated technical documents like student project reports, research theses, etc., and even many of the international publishers are using LaTeX templates for beautiful layout of their books. Many of the journal publishers, for example, Elsevier, Sprinker, etc., are nowadays 
demanding to prepare the draft of the research journal article in LaTeX. Apart from this, you can see that most of the universities have their own LaTeX template for student project reports and PhD thesis. Also, some Western universities made LaTeX formatted documents mandatory for curriculum related submissions. For example, the assignments, the coursework, they need to submit in LaTeX format. Next is it minimizes the drudgery of formatting and numbering and referencing. Of course, this is one of the main advantages of LaTeX. While you prepare a MS Word document, you might have experienced these difficulties. Suppose, okay, if you wish to modify the content by adding or removing some words or diagrams, the whole layout changes and you may need to spend, or more precisely, I can say, you need to waste your time. Of course, for no, no reason. To fix the proper layout once again. Even nowadays, Amazon Word has improved a lot, of course, in numbering and referencing. Still, it contains many flows. And these features are not as easy as provided by Latin. In LaTeX, numbering of equations, pictures, tables, pages, etc., will be done automatically. And contents page, list of figures, list of tables, references, bibliography, all will be generated automatically with a single command for each feature. Of course, I'll be showing you such a document when we are nearing to the end of this presentation. Next is very easy to include math formally. I will show you that how to include the math formally. Now, another advantage is Source file format is not bounded to a particular OS or platform. Across all the platforms, it is available. You can run LaTeX on uh, Windows. You can run on Linux. You can run on uh, the Apple, iOS, even mobile, in the mobile phone you can run the LaTeX compilers, right? Now, LaTeX implementation exists. Okay, I have already explained that. Next is knowledgeable and helpful user group. I found this is uh, as a, another advantage of the LaTeX very helpful user community to support and to fix the issues. So the experimentation with the LaTeX is quite easy. Suppose you are experimenting on LaTeX, you are learning the LaTeX, no problem. If you stuck somewhere, just Google your problem. Done. You will be provided with a pile of solutions. No issues at all. It is one of the main advantages of the LaTeX. Next us, another very interesting feature is LaTeX is free. It is absolutely free. It's an open source license product. You can enjoy all its features at free of cost. Okay, next now you can see the comparison between the LaTeX and MS Word. MS Word is a writing tool or to use the term W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. What you see is what you get. So MS Word is W-Y-S-I-W-Y-G. 
what you see is what you get to. It is easy to comprehend as you can visualize the output while writing. However, word is not for research. It is a generic writing tool that does not cater to the specific needs of scientific publishing. Suppose you see, for example, suppose you are writing a letter. You need to draft a letter. I'm not recommending you to write it in LaTeX because if you write a letter first time, or if you format a letter first time with a LaTeX, it will take more time. So in that case, I recommend you to go for Word that you can see from the graph what I have shown here. As the complexity of the, the your document increases or the size of your document increases, a must word may not be able to give you the output. But LaTeX, of course it does. Now, LaTeX allows you to beautifully typeset your paper. The modularity, it provides with structuring the document, equations, citations, etc. Help you create a professional quality paper that appears ready for submission. Now, let's see some of the source and the distribution of LaTeX here. So from where you can find LaTeX. So these are the some sources you can get LaTeX. LaTeX project. Org, then ctan.org, then tug.org, mictech.org, techstudio.org, then overleaf. Here you can see the the first five software available. They are standalone softwares. Means you need to, you can download and install in your machine. Whereas the sixth one, Overleaf, is an online LaTeX compiler. As part of this workshop, we would like to do are the first program in this overleaf. Okay, now let's see the LaTeX file structure. The first is the document class, predefined formats. The file structure of the LaTeX is not complicated at all. That I need to first, I need to tell you. First of all, we need to declare the document type that you are going to create, whether it is an article or a report or a book or a curriculum vitae or a presentation or a letter. So you need to declare the type of the document first. These predefined formats, you can see a lot of predefined formats by just Googling. And also, we can write our own document class. If you are good in the latter, you can write your own document class. Okay. Next us. Next is packages used. What is packages? Added functionality. Like, see, normally 
we don't require to add the figures or reference styles to our document. These sometimes even the table, the border of our document, these are the added functionalities. So based on your document, your taste, you'll be designing the layouts apart from the standard default formats. LaTeX has its own default formats for each type document you declare. For example, I need to add figures into my document, or I need to add some animated diagram to my document. Actually, all these are additional features. To enable these features, I need to include the packages which provide these features to my document. If you want to add the equation, you need to add a particular package which provides you the equation. If you want different styles of phones, you need to add that particular package for that particular form. Of course, we'll be discussing that later. Okay. And uh, the next uh, main body, here comes our matter or content of the document and the bibliography references, etc. In the main body, we are writing everything, all the contents of our matter. Okay, now we can move on to our first document, Latin document. Before that, I would like to suggest you something. Okay, for a moment, I'm just stopping the sharing my screen. I will show you the Overleaf web page. Here, this is actually Overleaf. So please, what you need to do is, all of you, please just go to any web browser. Probably, I mean, uh, I recommend to go for Google Chrome. If you have Google Chrome, please just go to Google Chrome. Just type overleaf.com. Okay, I will show you that I can just, I can log out myself. Yep. You'll be getting this scene, this screen now. Okay. So since you are new to this, go to the, please scroll down. You can see, please register. Please register. Register using any email, whatever it may be. Even you can use your Google account as well. Please do that. So I'm just leaving you for two or three minutes. Please complete this task. Overleaf. Dot com. Once you finish, please let me know. If I'm getting some feedback, of course, I'll be fine.
Shall I resume? Yes, sir. Okay. Thank you. So, we were actually explaining about the LaTeX file structure, and uh, here we are going to our first LaTeX document. So, please do, Malik, please just open your that website and keep as it is. I will tell you how to do, okay? So, this is my first LaTeX document. Here you can see, I told you that first I have, uh, as we de discussed, first I declare, declare the document type. You can see the document class. The first, all the commands are starting with backslash. So here the document class article, I use article. It can be any document type, it can be a book. So inside that uh, red, you can, uh, put up, uh, like you can uh, make it as a book, you can uh, use Beamer, that is for presentations. I will just tell you some, uh, uh, some document class, they are popular. For example, article. Article is actually for making the articles in scientific journals, some presentations, short reports, program, documentations, invitations, etc. Another document class is minimal, is a small as it can get. It only sets a page size at a base point. It is mainly used for debugging purposes. Then another document class is report. Report for longer reports containing several chapters, small books, theses, etc. Then books. Then other document classes book. Book is for real books. Then another document class is memoir. M E M O I R, memoir, for changing sensibly the output of the document. It is based on the book class but you can create any kind of document with it. Another document class is letter for writing letters. Then Beamer, Beamer, B-E-A-M-E-R, Beamer for writing presentations. See, now I am presenting my, these, these presentations through the Beamer class. Okay, next year, we need to use some packages. But here, I didn't use any package here. Since this is the, our first doc document and that to basic document, we are not interested to bring some additional features other than the default one. So we are directly moving to the next part, body of the document. Here in the body of the document, you can see the document starts with begin and ends with end. I would like to emphasize all the commands are starting with backslash. So backslash, then command comes. So here, the whatever you write between the begin document and end document is known as body, body. Okay, so body of the document. Okay, now let's run the script and uh, see the output. So when you run this output, you will get hello world. You'll get hello world. Now, Okay, 
So everything between this document class and the begin document, which is known as preamble, which is known as preamble. Now, I would like to emphasize again, a letter command always start with a backslash. Here we have backslash, then command, and then document type given inside the curly braces. Then we started backslash begin document. As I told you, in an actual document, we'll be using a spectrum of packages to introduce various features for customizing the formatting the document. Such additional features will be declared between document class and begin document. So this is known as preamble. So here we are using a lot of packages. We are introducing a lot of, a lot of packages for customizing our document that will be written between the document class and begin document. Next us, the content of your document must place between the commands backslash begin document and backslash end document. Note that the part of the opening and the ending commands are kept inside curly braces. Okay, now let's move on to the body codes. Okay, let's see. Yep. Okay, so now what I would like to do here is I would like to just come back to the Overleaf account. In the Overleaf, we are going to write our first LaTeX document. So what to do? Go to the new project. Just click on new project. New project. Then please click on blank project. Blank project. So click on blank project. So when you click on the blank project, it will be, it will be asking you for a project name. Okay, my first LaTeX document. Any name you can give. My first LaTeX document, create. See, on the left-hand side, you can see the commands we used, and on the right side, the output you can see. On the left-hand side, you can see the source, and on the right side, you can see its output. Here, since this is our first document, what I'm suggesting is, Okay, please just use package, date, just delete all these things. It just make title, nothing section, nothing is required. Just write like this. See, we need only document class article, begin document, and document. Then you write something here. Hello, what? Recompile. It compiles here. It shows you hello world. Please try this, please. Please let me know once you finish your first LaTeX document. 
Okay, good. Okay. So many of them, I think, yeah. Only keep only these three commands. Document class, article, begin document, and end document. Okay. Next, let's see, how can we include a text? Uh, oh, sorry, how can we, suppose I need to write, a, uh, I need to make this hello world as a bold. I need to make it bold. How can I make it bold? I will show you here, hello world. T X T B F. Kelly braces open. Kelly braces. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's closed. Now, I I would like to keep hello world inside this curly braces, and I have given a command backslash text bf bold face now just recompile you can see it becomes hello world it is now in bold faces now i need to increase the size of the text Already, if I want all the text in a, say for example, I would like to go for A4 sheet, the document size is A4 sheet, and uh, the size of the font is 12 point, then how can I do that? In the document class itself, you can declare it. Also, some other, even in the body also, you can declare that, no issues. But here, normally, the normal practices, we are going to the document class here. Then we open, for the options, we open square bracket. Inside this, Suppose I need, I need that sizes 12 point, I'll give just 12 PT, then comma. I need to do this one in A4 sheet, A4 paper. These are the options. Now, recompiling this. See here, the font size become now 12 point. Now, I have, for example, I need to see whenever you are writing a document, the document will be having different sections. For example, you are writing your document, you are writing your assignment, for example. Okay, you need to format an assignment. The assignment, okay, introduction. So section, just write section. Here, now you can see whenever we are writing section itself, there comes the suggestion box. It suggests, it, it suggests the hourly suggests to us. Okay, just click section. I need to write introduction. section introduction. Okay, so the introduction comes here. Just recompile. Yes, one. See, I didn't give any number here. 
but it ups already number this as one introduction to section one okay so i can give some uh, uh some uh, like uh, words here some sentences sentences here some simply i can give some like okay Uh, this green okay now recompile at this green hello world it came together okay even see for example here after writing earth is green i'm keeping a lot of spaces a lot of spaces here okay then also you can see that I'm recompiling this. See the output. So output is again, earth is green, then full stop. Then next to that, the hello world comes. I need hello world in another line. How can I make it? Simply, you can, what you can do, it is not necessary to delete that spaces, no problem. Whenever you give unnecessary spaces, it will not be considered by the compiler. If you want to move to the next line, just put double backslash. Now you are writing, suppose if you, okay, you are writing here text BF hello world. You can see that compile this. Yeah, now it is in the two lines. Now, this is the section one. Earth is green. It's a section one. I have a subsection in this. I have a subsection. So, okay, let me see the subsection. I would like to go for the subsection. Okay, subsection. Oh, sorry. Backslash. Subsection. Let be int. Just recompile. Actually, you see, when you are going from, like, uh, say, uh, from uh, the section, then you are going directly to subsection, no need of that. Uh, again, giving the new line command. So that is why it's shown an error there. So here, section is introduction, earth is green, I wrote. After that, I have just given like uh, the subsection as India something. Until that only I gave the hello word. Now you can see the introduction is marked as one and the India is labeled as 1.1. So that is section one. Now, suppose I have another section. I would like to go for the another section. Section, okay. Um, so after introduction, that it be, for example, yeah, we can just go for this pandemic, for example, okay, COVID-19, for example, I'm just writing this section name is COVID-19. Now what comes here? Just recompile. Yeah, one is introduction, second one is the COVID-19. So in this manner, you can write again. Okay, subsection I can give. Okay, I'm writing something here. Okay, pandemic simply, I'm just giving pandemic. Okay. Now, subsection again. Subsection. For example, I'm just giving Kerala.
Kerala. Of course, this subsection you can see that one introduction comes, 1.1 India, COVID-19, I just pandemic, 2.1, 2.1 comes Kerala. Now, in the Kerala, I need to just talk about the, for example, I need to talk about the Ernakulam. Under the subsection, I need to talk about Ernakulam. Okay, so I'm just giving it again uh, some pandemic or something like that. Pandemic. Okay, now sub sub subsection. Let's see how it changes. Ernakulam, Ernakulam district. Now let's see. Okay, see how what what it shows here. Its subsection shows Ernakulam 2.1, 2.1.1. It is Ernakulam. So this is how a document, the body, you can proceed like this. Now let's see how to include the other features like including a figure, including an equation, we can just talk about that, okay? Okay, here, actually this is going to be a modified LaTeX document. In this modified LaTeX document, I'm going to include a new and uh, include a picture. So in between the document class and begin document, that is in the preamble, I added a new package here. I used here so what is the command used? The command used us use package graphic X use package. So the backslash use package graphic X. This package which gives us a control over the pictures of figures. Now, I need to include the figure picture inside in a, in a document in the body, wherever I want this particular picture, there I'm writing begin figure. Begin figure and figure. Begin figure and figure. In between, that just I'm writing the centering. Okay, I'm, I need to center this this particular picture in the document. Centering. Then include graphics. Include graphics. This is the command. I am just giving a scale here. Scale is equal to 0.8. You have different options for this. When you go to the graphic X command manual, you can see that what are the options to control a particular figure can be used. I'm using here scale. Earth one, Earth one is the name of my figure. Then I'm giving a caption there. Of course, under a figure, there will be a caption. So I'm giving Earth. Now, what does label represent? There is a label. Label, what is the purpose of this label? Normally, when we are preparing a document you are writing, see, okay, if you want, sometimes you will be writing a sentence like, for more clarification, refer figure number. 
you're writing the figure number. So for reference, yeah, just write figure number. So normally what we do, we are writing the, we are just writing figure, refer, figure, then we are writing whether it is the first figure in the first chapter, we write it as figure 1.1. We are writing there. But in LaTeX, you don't want to do like that. What do you need to do? You are writing, just write refer figure. Then you are using some command here. In that command, you are specifying this particular label, this image, hyphen earth one. You are giving this name over there. Then that particular number, the figure number will be automatically added there. That is one. Okay, now, sometimes you may be thinking, what is the use of that? Okay, uh, okay I can go directly 1.1. 1. 1. What, what wrong, what's wrong in that? I can go for directly 1.1 1. 1 or 1. 1.2, whatever it may be. No. Sometimes you change your mind and you are adding one more figure just before this in your document. What do you need to do? If you are referring this particular figure as 1.1, 1. 1, you need to change all of the numbers. So if you add one figure, figure, figure before this figure, and you are giving even a label for that, the lactic will take care of that. It's automatic numbering. Don't worry about that. Lactic will take, if you add many more figures before this, lactic will take care of that. Lactic will be providing the exact number of the picture. It, it will be renumbering that. Okay. Let's see now. Uh, okay, so this is the output. I will show you how to do this in our overleaf. How can we do this one in our overleaf? I will just tell you. Okay, so we have a lot of things here. Okay, like I wrote introduction. Okay, first, okay, Earth is green. We have Earth is green is here. I would like to add the figure there. Okay, I need to add the figure under this section introduction. I told you in the preamble, we need to use use package use package. See, it automatically came, use package. I click on that. I want, see, you can just scroll down and you can check for that. Okay, for example, I'm just giving graphic X, G. It automatically shows here, graphic X. These are the different types of use packages, use packages. If we have a lot of packages here, a lot of thousands of packages are there. You, even you can also make your own package. So graphic X, use package. I have taken that, I have added that to preamble. Now, here, until this, I need to include my figure. I told you, okay, first of all, uh, okay, before that, what I need to do is, since this is an online compiler, I need to upload my figure to this particular website first, to your account. First, you need to upload that. How can you do that? You can see upload option on the left-hand side. Here, hope you're seeing this. Go to upload. Upload from, you have a lot of options. Okay. I would like to select from my computer. I would like to select from my computer. So I'm just going for some pictures. Okay, let me see.
I'd like to go for some pictures here. Which picture? Okay, let, let me go for this one. Yeah. I would like to go for mm2 underscore figure dot jpg. Okay, this is what I'm going to do here. Now, next under the earth is green. Start with begin. So when I start with begin itself, it's such as begin, clicking on the begin. Yeah, begin, what I need to begin figure okay so just click on the figure all the commands are automatically came there all the commands automatically came once i just given the figure then end figure automatically came in between all other things came okay so just uh, just so now i need to just writing, I need to, okay, I need to write a command here. Uh, not a command, I need to give a command. For what purpose? Like, okay, a comment. A comment always starts with the percentage symbol. You can write here, yeah. This is, yeah. This is my first first figure in LaTeX document. So you can add as many as comments like this. So this is my first figure in LaTeX document. Until that begin figure centering i told you just to center if you don't want no problem you can suppose you want to suppress this i don't want the centering if you want to suppress you can you do, do you want to make it as a comment you just give a personal simple before that okay centering now now let's see include graphics here you can go for the this particular figure when i'm writing the mm2 the file name it already shows mm2 figure.jpg now i need to control this i told you some options i need to control the size of this i don't know how it will come so i would like to just give um, scaling i would like to scale this scale equal to let it be 0.5 sometimes it may be very small sometimes it may be big okay so this k the here it is caption as gear now the figure i would like to give the label here gear one Here one. Let us try to run this. Compile. See here, the, that figure came here. Okay, if I want to just increase the size of this, I would like to give scale 0 0.8 and the, I need to center this one. I'm centering this one. Okay, so I can center this. Now recompile it. Okay, so the figure one gear it came. So hope you are okay with us. Now let's see how to include the equations. And before that, I would like to just show you some useful packages
let's see some useful packages before that. Okay. Some useful packages actually, uh, I would like to tell you that. Actually, GraphicX, Fancy, HDR, AMS Map, AMS Simp, Geometry. These are some uh, uh, like inter uh, interesting packages. So what are the uses of this one? Actually, for what purpose we use this? Let's see that. GraphicX normally it used for uh, the, the pictures, including mm -hmm. pictures. Fancy HDR is there to control the, uh, the layout, different layouts. AMS math is there for the equations. AMS simp is there for adding the simples in maths, like the Greek letters, Latin letters, the, I mean, such, such kind of simples. Then geometry is there to control the, uh, the margins of the document. Now, I will just show you uh, how to write a mathematical document. Here, document for, okay, we are just uh, declaring, declaring it as an article. Then begin document, end document. Of course, body of, body of your document. Then use package, what you're going to use here, Use package MS Math. MS Math you're using. MS Simple is also using there. Now, begin equation. In your in the body, you need to use begin equation. This is actually how you write the equations in Latin. X square plus y square equal to a square. The output would be like this, equation of a circle. x square plus y square is equal to a square. I will just show you how to write that in the, the uh, our leaf. And also, I would like to show you, see, diagrams. In a LaTeX document, you can draw the diagrams. You can draw the diagrams like this. See, this diagram, completely drawn in the LaTeX, completely drawn in the LaTeX. So anyhow, I would like to just show you how to do that uh, equation as well. Now, okay, I need to add. Okay, uh, um, I forgot to tell you something here. What, 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 what I tell you, let's see. I told you here, the figure, actually we were trying to get the figure under this section introduction. We were trying to get the figure under this section introduction. But you can see that it took a default position as the top. Normally, in all the documents, the standard documents, you can see that. The books, when you go for the books, journal articles, you can see either the figures will be on the top of the page or on the bottom of the page by default. But you can make this document wherever you want. Okay, so I will just uh, show you how to do that. Suppose I want this one under the section introduction. How I'm going to do the option, the controlling option is there. Second. Okay. 
Now let's compile this. See, when I gave this figure in the option H exclamatory mark, then I got here the figure under the interaction. Okay. Now, under the subsection, under the subsection of India, I want an equation here. I want an equation, a mathematical equation. Of course, we can go for the x squared plus a circle equation. We can go for that. So for the equation, mathematical equation, I told you, we need to go for first use package M as math. AMS math. AMS math. Again, I want the simples use package. AMS simp. AMS simp. Now we can try to give here begin equation. Begin. What I want, equation, E, Q. Of course, it shows equation here. Begin equation and equation. Equation starts with begin and it ends end equation. X X square plus Y square suppose I'm representing the radius in terms of some say Sigma so Sigma Sigma to the power square again no, let's try to run this. I think you are able to see that equation here. X square. Okay, I will just do one thing. Uh, bigger in size. I think all of you are able to see this now clearly. Okay, so under the under the section, the subsection India, I got x square plus y square equal to sigma square. This is equation one. See, equation one is there. Sometimes we sometimes so okay in a document, if you introduce a equation first time, normally it will be number. See, if you are declaring a chapter here, it will be showing as 1.1. If, if you're giving it as a chapter, then it will be show as 1.1 for the first chapter. If it is two, second chapter, it will be, of course, it will be 2.1, 2.2, like that. Now, if you're using an equation repeatedly in your document, then you don't want to the number it again. So in that case, what you need to do is, Begin equation, just given asterisk, asterisk there. Begin equation and equation with an asterisk. So now you now once you run this, you can see the numbering is gone here. No numbering. It's x squared plus y squared is equal to sigma squared at all. Now, I think uh, the time is we have very shortage of time. Now we can, uh, I think we can wind up our session. 
If you have any question, you can just ask. Thank you, sir. Um, very informative. And now it is time for the interactive session. If anyone would like any clarifications or clear any doubts, they may do so now. Hello, sir. Yes, yes, Shamla. Sir, it was very nice session. Okay. And uh, I have some doubts. How can I save the file, sir? The file, see, like you're talking about uh, the Spurig Ovalith, you mean? Yes, sir, yes, sir. It will be automatically saved. Whenever you make any change there in the document, it will be automatically saved, uh, automatically saved. And what you need to do is, I will just show you. I will show you how to download it. Just the we are coming back to the overleaf. On the top, you can see on the right right hand side next to the read compile, you have a download PDF. Okay, just okay. click on that. That PDF document will be downloaded. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. And uh, one more question. Um, how can we utilize the uh, downloaded file? That is, this is overleaf is an open uh, online one. Yeah. So uh, we are already we have uh, downloaded some files, right? So how yeah. can we utilize those things? See, uh, like, of course, that whatever you want, suppose you are writing a report, you need that report. So once, when you are downloading, means you are getting that report itself. Then wherever you want to submit, you can submit that directly. That's it. It is in the PDF format. Okay, 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 sir. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. And I would also like to mention that there is a feedback form that has been provided in the chat box. Please take a few minutes to fill the form. Also note that this form is considered for attendance and certification. Hello, sir. Can you hear me? Yes, please. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, can I know, can we link this uh, LATEC with Grammarly and Mendeley? Come again? I mean, like, uh, we, we use Grammarly to check the grammar in Word, right? In MS Word, there is a software called Grammarly. Yeah, 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 yeah of course, of course. So can we link that Grammarly to LATEC also? This, uh, like, uh, Grammarly, um, if, if uh, as far as my knowledge is concerned, the Grammarly, they are providing with the uh, like the account you need to pay for that in the Overleaf itself. Okay. For uh, your free account, it is not available. Okay. And what about mentally, sir, for references? Mentally, mentally, no. See, for references, what we normally do is latter here. No, okay, that I will tell you. Actually, I didn't mention that. If you have time, of course, I can just explain. We have the referencing option as there. Okay, I will just show you something. Suppose we are going to, uh, for example, see, uh, I think you are able to see my science director website now. Yes. Right? Yes. So we have an option here, citation, cite, yes. C-I-T, right? When you go to citation, when you click on that, you can see export citation to BibTech. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah, BibTech. So once you click on that, a BibTech file will be downloaded. That need to be normally that will be used in your mentally account. Mm -hmm. Okay. Similarly, the same uh, BibTech account that can be uploaded here in the LATEC as well. Mm -hmm. So here you have, I, I told you, like, for example, if you go here, uh, you can, what you need to do, you need to just not uploading, you need to create a file here. I will just uh, show you. Uh, I will show you a file. I, I will show you one. Yeah, I have one. Yes. Second. 
Uh, yes. Can you see Google bibliography file here? Yes. Okay. Which really is changing. I don't know. One second. One second. Yeah. Can you see the references.bib? In yes, this sir. references.bib, when you download that bib tech file, it will be having this particular format. Okay. You just need to copy paste it here. Just copy paste here. Okay. And when you are creating your document, what you need to do is in a custom document, suppose this is, a, this is your document, for example, in the document, uh, you can see, I will show you. Yeah. Here, for example, in the document, uh, uh, document, find errors. Yeah. Here, for example, I would like to highlight this particular portion. I think you are able to see this. Mm -hmm. Right? Yes, sir. Yeah. As an example of citation, carrier at all, then you are just giving this command, site, okay? Site and the, 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 the call number or the call ID, that is in the reference bib. Call ID, here you can see that, see this one, carrier, this, this one, at book, this one. This particular one, you are just giving here in this document, here. Then automatically, that particular, Reference will be will be uh, like uh, given automatically taken from that BibTeX file and it will be uh, just shown in this your document as three. See here three yeah. JE carrier RM all in see everything will be done like this. So what um, like what you are doing is you are simply in the reference dot b you are just copy pasting the reference file. And you are calling that in the your body. Okay. 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 So in the body, in the document. So then it will be automatically created here in the references. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you are welcome. Are there any more clarifications or doubts? Uh, somebody is uh, show some errors in compilation in the chat box. Uh, may I know what is the error is? We need to be careful whenever we are using the commands. Sir. One doubt is, sir, uh, actually we are uh, just running, uh, totally recompiling, uh, whether any option for uh, running, selecting uh, specific document and run, uh, something like uh, that option is there, sir. Uh, every time we are recompiling as, as a whole, right, sir? Yeah. Any options like, any options like uh, some specific area we want to select and run, is there any options no. like that, sir? No, no. In, in this, it is not there at all. No. See, but you have one another option is there. You can see here, when you go to recompile, there is one small arrow is given. If you just go to that, and if you give the fast, you can go for the fast as well. Once you give the fast, it will not consider, it will skip the, the heavy documents, heavy uh, packages like, for example, all the additional features will be neglected. Okay, for example, the figure. Figure will not display there. 
instead of displaying the figure, only it will just write yeah figure number one. That's one one point one something like that. It will show table. Just only it just give you a hint that yeah there is a table. Something like that only it will give. So in that case, the 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 compilation will be very fast. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Yes, please. Uh, uh, sir, actually, the numbering is going like one, one point one, and so on. So, what if I have to use like A, B, C, and so on like that? You can also use that. Of course, you have option, right? In this section, you can just change that. The, the section options are there. You can try that. Just Google it. Just experiment with, with, with us. Of course, you can. Okay. okay, please try yourself. Okay, thanks. You're welcome. Sometimes we you you may not require any section numbers. Just put asterisk there. I told you, like in the for example, uh, in the section, if I'm giving here an asterisk, the begin the section. Section number eight. Let me check. See, when I give the section asterisk here, that introduction is without any numbers now. Can you see that? Yes, sir. I can. Yes, sir. Yeah. And here, even that is considered to be zero, zero, so that India becomes zero point one. If uh, the subsection becomes one. Point one, and uh, the next section, what I have declared here becomes one. It is becomes one point one, one point one like that. Sub subsection, sub subsection, everything it came like this. Sir, I would like to ask you to switch off your screen share. Yeah, thank you. Uh, and thank you, sir. And now our virtual moment to you. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. No doubts, you please uh, ask and interact with me. And now I'd like to welcome our assistant professor, Suya, sir, for the vote of thanks. Over to you, sir. Thank you, Aguila. First of all, I would like to thank Mr. Anit for providing such a wonderful session on LaTeX. I am sure that many of our participants have found it very useful and it will be useful for them in their future work. Next, I would like to thank our management representatives, Dr. Uh, Director Ms. Amartya Prashok and Executive Director Joji for their wholehearted support for the program. Next, I would like to thank our principal, Mr. Gobalakrishna Sharma and Vice Principal Anish Sir for all the help provided for the program. Next, I would like to thank the backbone of our department, Dr. Mousan Sule, without whose support and help, this program would not have been a reality. Next, I would like to thank all the faculty members of mechanical department, especially the coordinators, Mr. Agil J. Babu and Sharad Das, who worked hard to make this program a reality. Last but not the least, I would like to thank all the participants 
who made this program a grand success. Thank you. Thank you, Anand. So it is time now for this very informative and useful webinar to come to an end. Here's to hoping there are more advanced classes in the future. Thank you everyone for attending. Have a nice day. Thank you, Roger. Thank you. Roger.